Trump is penetrated, former CIA spy drops bombshells in RT interview. According to reliable alternative news sources, something terrible is going on now and our national famous reliable media stations are really not disclosing this information to us. In what is becoming a rather continuous theme, former CIA spy Robert Steele has dropped more bombshell truths for the world to grasp. This time, the revelations came in a live interview on Russia Today. This is the same Robert Steele who appeared on RT in March of 2015 and said that every terrorist attack in the US has been a false flag event. It comes as no surprise then that Steele once again openly spoke about uncomfortable truths in an interview with RT last week. Hillary and the DNC stole 13 primaries from Bernie Sanders using electronic vote tampering, Hillary Clinton, it's on record, Stanford University has studied this and documented this, stole 13 primaries from Bernie Sanders using electronic ballot tampering. The Russians did not hack the election, Hillary Clinton hacked the election and lost. The counter coup, we've had a counter coup in the United States. We have successfully defeated the coup that was being led by Wall Street, Hillary Clinton and John Brennan, CIA director. The Electoral Reform Act of 2017 is a must, my personal feeling is that if Trump does not pass an Electoral Reform Act in the next 90 days, he will not finish his term. He will leave. The Electoral Reform Act does a number of things but one of the most important things is that it free the members from the bribery and blackmail that is pervasive in US politics. I think Trump has the capacity to free the members from their dependency on foreign money, particularly Saudi Arabian, Israeli, and Wall Street money. It destroys the two-party tyranny. I have tried for over three years to get the mainstream media to cover electoral reform. They won't touch it. Russia did not hack the election, this has been disproven completely. First off, I sounded the alarm on cybersecurity in 1994. I wrote the first letter to the White House, I introduced NSA to hackers, I was the opening speaker of Hackers on Planet Earth in 1994. I am, as it were, a strong representative of the hacking community going back 30 years. I know what I'm talking about. The DNC was a leak, not a hack. Julian Assange, William Binney from the NSA, Ambassador Craig Murray and I and Ray McGovern and Phil Giraldi, we're all saying the same thing. This was a leak, not a hack. I've listed 29 different people with links to their public statements saying the Russians did not hack the election. It was a leak. The Russians hacked the election is now a dead mim. John Brennan should be tried as a war criminal, the lies that John Brennan has told, both anonymously and publicly, are in my view, an impeachable offense. He has prostituted his office the way that George Tenet prostituted his office when he led with Dick Cheney the telling of 935 lies that led us into Iraq. Brennan should be in an international court under indictment for being a war criminal. If you want to play war criminal, let's start with John Brennan. The drone assassination program by CIA is killing thousands, 98% of whom are known to not be on any list. They're women, children, and innocent old men. Mainstream media has been revealed as the fake news, in the panic to repress skeptical citizens and investigative journalists, the fake news mem, like the conspiracy mem that the CIA invented in the 1960s to diminish people who were questioning the JFK story, has been intended to diminish citizens saying hey wait a minute, there's a pizza gate, there's a pedo gate, there's all these other things. What has happened is that now everyone understands what they've refused to believe in the past, which is that the New York Times, the crap news media, all of these people, are the fake news. Reince Priebus has penetrated the Trump administration and doesn't want Trump to unrig the system, Reince Priebus, in my view, is a spy on Trump who is opposing Trump from within. I personally believe Priebus should not be allowed to be chief of staff. Trump now has the power should he choose to use it, to unrig the system. And that's where I'm really concerned, because Reince Priebus' highest priority in life is to stop Donald Trump from unrigging the system. I bet you. There are also many other truths that Steele has revealed in this interview that can be seen here. 
What is important to take from this is that yet another person has come out and shredded the many lies that have been told to the world for a very long time. The fact that this was said on RT, which reaches many people around the world, is yet another sign of the times we live in. The truth is continuing to gain momentum at an unprecedented rate, which is making some people very excited, and certain others, very nervous. Thanks for watching. Like and share and don't forget to leave your comments.